you know, we're a middleman. We sit in the middle between a supplier and our clients, the tour operators and travel agents. If you don't provide value as a middleman, you deserve to be disintermediated. Hey guys, Faisal Sublavan, President and CEO, Bonatel Exclusive Travel, here at the RTO Summit at the Ritz-Carlton. Exciting day ahead, several different meetings as usual. Some you'll be able to join, some you won't. Going to be speaking in front of uh, the attendees, talking about Bonatel, what we've been doing to continue to innovate and stay relevant within this space. Hypothetically, that's probably what you're looking for, is a rate from the hotel that's equal to or better than well, I mean, it, it's not, it, for, for us, it's not just about rate. If you focus on rate, rate is commoditized. But it, it truly is commoditized. What we're looking to do is create an ecosystem with stickiness within our suppliers and our distribution network. And that necessitates being, bringing value to both ends of the spectrum. So if you're just focused on rate, I promise you Expedia has more buying power than Bonitel. I promise you that. Last time I checked anyways, but <laughs> I may be wrong. I promise you hotel beds and the entity that it is has more buying power than Bonitel. That's just reality, but I don't care. And when people come back and say, well, your rates are not competitive, you're not here. I'm like, that's, that's not my game. I'm not in a rate war. I provide value to you. Service is still relevant. You want to call when you have a problem. That's still relevant. If there's an issue with one of your travelers at our hotel, we can call the GM because we have that relationship with the property. That's still relevant because the one thing in our industry that is guaranteed, it's not if, it's when something goes wrong and then it's on us to figure out what we do you know, in order to solve those solutions. And that's where you create value. If it's just a transaction, you know, that, that business is commoditized and candidly not interesting for us. Thank you so much. Always appreciate it. Thank you guys. So would you say that you guys are partnering with so, you know, the known entities like Airbnb and uh, VRBO, HomeAway, or are you competing against them? Or where do you kind of sit within the ecosystem? Yeah, I think, I think VRBO and Airbnb we're, we're very friendly with. We think that they are providing this distribution platform that is accessible, that um, frankly is, is, is unmatched in the marketplace. For us, what we're focused on is providing the consistency and the experience that Airbnb uh, is, is, is so fond of, right? Airbnb is provide this local great experience. That's what we want to do, but we want to be able to do it in a consistent way. And I, and I think that Airbnb has actually created a lot of our market, right? They're, they're doing all that marketing. People are used to traveling this way now, right? It's the same way that hotels, their relationship with the, the booking.com, the Expedia, all these various, you know, channels that they're using, it's very symbiotic, you know, because they're pushing them, all these people, they're creating exposure for the company in a way that, you know, would be very hard pre-Airbnb to start this company and do this at scale because those channels are, weren't created yet, yeah. right? And now people are looking for this kind of experience, but there's no one who's doing this professionally at scale in a consistent way, right? yeah. especially for this sort of form factor. Well, I know, you know, one of the, <clears throat> we had a discussion before around, you know, Airbnb and some of the limitations and where partnering with companies like Avant Stay is critical to everything that you're, you're referencing. So when you look at the experiential component and you have these hosts, every diff, everybody's hosts has different uh, opinions as to what's luxury, what's experiential, you know, what it should be set up as, and you kind of, anyone can make pictures look great, and then when you get there, it's kind of that, oh shit moment, like, uh, the pool is a lot smaller than we thought it was, you know, it only fits one raft, uh, you know, it's not as nice as we thought it was. On the other, on the contrary, it could be even, even nicer, and so there's not that consistency of knowing the product you're going to have, especially yeah, when you authenticity, right? Yeah, that that's the key because you can. It's much easier to sell an asset through photos, 
but when you show up, you want those photos to match the actual experience <laughs> that you have. And, and so you see that across a lot of different properties, a lot of hosts, which is it's easy to get the revenue in the door, but then it's a lot more challenging to maintain your rating, maintain the experience that you want to provide. So that's, that's the key behind not only consistency, but authenticity. So that you don't want it, you can make it a picture look pretty amazing, but if it looks too amazing, then you, you need to reset expectations. Well, thanks, gentlemen. I got a GM to the end. Apologies, but great to see you. Great day here in Los Angeles. Several different meetings. Uh, spoke at the RTO Summit. Uh, came met with the co-founder and founder of Avant Stay. Uh, jamming over to the airport right now. Gonna have to kind of cut it short because I'm getting a little bit tight on time, but please like, follow, and subscribe. Till next time, peace.